Look at the circuit. It has a battery. One end of the battery is connected to a wire which is left open from its end. And the second end of the battery is connected to a wire which is again connected to the bulb. And from the other end of the bulb, there is one more wire coming out and this, the end of this wire is left open. So right now in the entire circuit, we have two open endings, both of wires. Right now, the circuit is called an open circuit. But if we connect both the ends of the wire, this circuit then will be called as a closed circuit. Okay, we can use the circuit as a tester too. That means we can keep a material between the two ends of the wire to test if the substance conducts electricity or not. How? Mm, let's take a material screwdriver. Let's take screwdriver and test whether it conducts electricity or not. Let's connect both the ends of the wire to the metallic part of the screwdriver. Do you see the bulb glowing? Yes. That means I can say that metallic part has conducting electricity due to which electricity is passing through the circuit. Okay, the substances that allow electricity to pass through them are called good conductors of electricity. Now let's do one thing. Let's remove those wires and connect it to the plastic part of the screwdriver. Now can you see the bulb glow? No. So I can say the plastic part of the screwdriver is not allowing the electricity to pass through it. So it is a poor conductor. So the substances that do not allow electricity to pass through them are called poor conductors. Okay. Now we have seen that solids do conduct electricity. Some conduct electricity very well like metals and some solids like plastic, rubber, they do not conduct electricity. So they are poor conductors. But now, in the same circuit, if instead of a solid, I have to check a liquid. So we put a liquid between the two ends of the wire. Will the liquid conduct electricity? Let us find this out in the coming lessons.